Everybody, welcome to the premiere recap of So You Think You Can Dance Season 6. I want to wish everybody a happy 999. Maddie, got one message for you. Beatles Rock Band. Alright, so Season 5 totally ended five minutes ago. We know that. But here's another season for you. They had to get it in there. And I'm pretty sure that the plan is that if the fall season goes well, it won't be back in the summer. They're going to stick to the fall schedule. So the show began with an extended tease of uh, all of the cool things that we're going to see this season in the auditions. And yeah, just show it to us already. Don't tease us. So they're in L.A. and the standards are higher. Uh, no more of the lukewarm standards that they had in the first couple of seasons where you can almost dance, you're in. Now, this is serious stuff. They're pulling out all the stops now. They're not taking anybody who can almost dance anymore. So the judges for this round are Nigel, Mary, and Adam Shankman. And Anya and Pasha, you remember them, they're going to be in the choreography pit. Cracking the whip. So first up was Cole Clemens. And yeah, he had the look of a really good dancer. And he knows that he needs to stand out to get noticed by the judges. So he did this off-the-wall performance art piece that was really kind of weird, and I was kind of ashamed that Mary Murphy couldn't stop laughing, like, the whole time. Uh, it was like, allure, seduce, shatter, the candle blows out on us. <sighs> How could that be a no? <laughs> After he did that, you could hear a pin drop in that auditorium. It was a no but he was a good sport about it, so it was okay. After him was Molly Gray. She was in High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. She's got an impressive little resume there. She moved from Utah to L.A. to get more auditions, and yeah, her mom sacrificed for her. And I can really identify that, because I would do just about anything for my kids. So now it's payback time. You're going to Vegas! Make mom proud. Uh, David Hovhaniasen. He danced, he was the guy in the yellow diaper. He was pretty awesome. He's going right to Vegas. Two other awesome dancers, Amanda Kirby and Brandon Dumlau, they are also going to Vegas. Uh, all right, now here's a story close to my heart. Uh, everybody remembers Evan Kasperzak from last season. Well, Ryan's back, his brother, his older brother, and uh, yeah, he's a tapper. And he put out an audition on this episode that Adam Shankman said was like the best audition he'd ever seen for the show. I don't know if I would agree with that, but it was awesome. So he's going through to Vegas, and then his buddy, Bianca Revels, you've seen her season after season. She never made the top 20. She was ready to give up last season, but she's back now. And I really like what they did with this, because they, instead of making her just do a straight audition, they made it into a tap battle, which is really called trading in tap circles. So she did trading with Ryan, and it was so much fun. I loved it. Now I lo know why Maddie loves tap so much. I am, like, so inspired to, like, learn tap, or at least more about tap. So up next, Christopher Aguilar. He's a future film producer. And the <laughs> name of the film that he wants to produce... It's called Drum Song. I don't think it's a film I want to see. Uh, the judges, you know, instead of being douchey about it, they had fun with it. The guy had a minor wipeout. He was okay. He kept going. He was a weak dancer. It was a no. Again, a good sport. I'm glad that they're not showing, like, the really poor sports like they do on American Idol. I'm glad they're, like, getting away from that on this show. So after choreography, day one, nine more dancers were sent to Vegas. So here we are, day two in L.A., Amber Williams up first. Tearjerker story. Everybody loves an inspirational tearjerker story. Her mom was paralyzed from the waist down, and her mom is very inspired by watching her dance on stage. And she should be, because... She was a pretty amazing dancer. She needs to work on connecting with the audience more, but she's got a lot of potential. She's going right to Vegas, and Mom was proud. Uh, Alexi Agdepa, 
and Paula Van Oppen. Uh, they didn't really go into their backstories, but two more beautiful contemporary dancers going straight through to Vegas. Okay, now a salsa dancer with pop and locks thrown in. That would be Christina Santana, and she, dra she dragged along her partner Pepe, but he wasn't auditioning. He didn't have the confidence that she did. So it was a great dance. Her personality really shone through, too. I mean, she had the crowd, like, right here. Vegas. Then, uh, to break it up a little bit, they showed a montage of some very bad dancers. I'm glad that they're, like, staying away from the whole, you know, sex bad dancer thing. Because nobody wants to see that. People want to see the good dancers. They don't want to see people up there goofing around on purpose. So, Philip Atmore closed the show. Uh, he was Ryan Kasperzak's roommate when he was on tour with Fosse. He's also a tapper. And, yeah, he was fabulous. He really, he his personality shone through. I'm sure that Maddie is squealing right now. She's watching. And he was hinting at a Moses Supposes uh, tap battle with Ryan. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, especially uh, in Vegas week. So, yeah, he's going to Vegas. So, after the final choreography on day two in L.A., ten more dancers are straight through to Vegas, or through to Vegas. Next week, they're going to Phoenix, Arizona. You don't want to miss it. Till then, much love.